Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. In this module, we'll talk about a very important concept of Java, which is access modifiers. So we have been using public for quite some time in all the projects. So we'll understand what is public, what is private, what is protected, and what is default. So let's try to understand, and let's get started. Now for understanding this access modifiers, what I'll do is I'll create a project, and I'll add two packages, package one, and package two. In the same project, I'll be adding two packages. And I'll create a class with the name as class base class. And I'll add variables of all the four categories. Like I'll add variables public, private, protected, and default. And I will add a derived class. And I will add other class in the same package. So the names I follow is base class, derived class, same package, other class, same package and I will be referring this base class I will inherit in package 2 as well so I'll give the name as derived class other package and other class other package so these are the names that I follow now I repeat once again so I'll be creating a project and inside this I'll be creating package 1 package 2 I'll give a base class name which will have four types of variables public, private, protected, and default. And I'll have a derived class which will, in the same package, which will implement base class or uh, which will extend base class and other class which will not extend the base class. Now I'll have one more package, package two, where I'll have derived class, other package, which will extend this base class. <coughs> and, and also I'll create other class, other package. I think you'll get more idea when I create this. Let's get started. Now let's go to Eclipse IDE, and this is project 44. So let me quickly create file new Java project. I'll give the name as project 44. <coughs> and um, I don't want to create module info. So now I'll be creating new package. Right click on this new package. I'll be writing here package one. Now I'll be creating new package, one more new package called package two. Now I created two packages. Now in this package one, I'll be adding new class and I'll be giving the class name as, let's give the class name as base class. Now I just created the class name as base class. And now, now what I will do is, I'll be creating all the variables in this, which will have like public int a, private int b, protected, int c, and int d. Now, so variable a is public, private, protected, and this d is default because I have not added anything. So these are the four access modifiers. So I'll create one method here, public, void, base class method. Now done. So I'm done with the base class. Now what I need to do here, I need Let's go to MS Paint now. I need the derived class in the same package and I need other class in the same package. So what I'll do here, I'll be writing here class, derived class, same package. SP stands for same package, which will extend. Which will extend, extends, base class. Now, now I'll create a method. So public, void, derived class same package method okay, done now what I have to do now this is a derived class of this base class now I have to create other class as well in the same package class other class same package now I don't write extends because it's not it's not derived class it's the other class now I'll write here public void other class sp method now, now we'll talk about why I'm creating methods later. So I created a base class in this package with so four variables and one method, base class method. Derived class extends the base class and I created derived class same package method, other class same package, other class same package method. I'm done. Now I have to create one more package. In package two, what I have to write, I have to derive this class. So what I'll do here, right click on this, add new class. I'll be writing here, derived class 
derived class other package. I'll put here op. Now click on finish. So now this derived class has to extend. So I have to write here extends base class. Now I'll get an error because I need to import this package here. So click on the three line here import base class. So this is imported. So this is an other package. I'm extending the base class. Now here also I have to write public void derived class other package method. Done. Now what I have to write here, I have to create another class. So class other package, sorry, other class other package. Now I don't write extends because it's now I'll write here public void other class other package method. Okay, done. So I just set up the ground here, foreground. So what I've done in here is I created package one, which has three classes, base class, derived class in the same uh, package, and I'm extending the base class. That's why we named it as derived class. And this is another class, same package, because it's not extending, I just kept it other class. Now in package two, I have a derived class, other package, which is extending the base class from this package. So basically these two are in different packages. And I have other class in other package. So which is not extending. So, so we're good for now. So now what I'll do is I just create an Excel sheet with a table, same package within the class, in the same within the class. I'll try, I'll see if I can access all this. Derived class, I'll see if I can access. Other class, what I can access. And other package, derived class, other package, other class. So these are the five categories. So we have created for each category, we have created one class and we added. So let's see how we can understand this. Let's go back. Now I'll go to this base class. Here I have this variables base class. In the same class I have a method. Normally methods we try to access, uh, I mean variables we try to access from methods. Now what I'll do is I'll simply write, since it's the same class, so I'll simply write a is equal to 5, b is equal to 10, c is equal to 20, and d is equal to 30. So I'm trying to access all the variables which I defined here. And there is a variable, um, that's okay. Okay, uh, forget about the warnings here. Now if you see this, all these variables, public, private, protected, and integer, I mean default, I'm able to access in my, in the same class. I'm not getting any errors. So if I have any red lines, it'll be like an error, but I don't see any red lines, so I'm able to, I'm able to access. So within the same class, within the same class, I can access all the types of variables. So let's go back within the same package, within the same class. I will be access public, yes, private, yes, protected, yes, default also I'm able to access. So that means if you declare a variable and uh, irrespective of any access modifier, you can access in the same class. Perfect. Now let's see in the derived class of the same package. So here I have this derived class at the same package, which is extending the base class. Now let's try to assign since it's extending, so this will know the variables which are there in the base class. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. Now you can see public. A is public, I don't get any error. So public, I don't get any error. Whereas private, I'm getting an error. So the field B is not visible. So that means you cannot access a private variable in the derived class. And protected, I'm able to access in the derived class. And default also I'm able to access in the data class of the same package. So, so now in the data class public I can access, private I cannot access, protected I can access, default also I'm able to access. Now, now let's try to put in other class. So in other class you cannot access the variables directly. You'll try to create an object. So let's create an object, base class. So base class obj is equal to new new base class. Now I'll try to assign here obj.a is equal to 5, some values, obj.b is equal to 10, obj.c is equal to 20, obj.d is equal to 30. Now let's see if, which variables I can access in other class. And remember this is not a derived class, it's other class. I mean it's another class in the same package. So I can access public, I cannot access private, and I can access protected and I can access default. So even protected, I'm able to access even outside the derived class. So this is not a derived class, even other class, I'm able to access protected. 
So normally C sharp will not support this. So, so protected variable I can access in the error class. I can also access in other class in the same package protected and default also I'm able to access. So now let's go back. And so you can see here public, private, protected, default. Public, private, protected, default. So I'm not able to access only the private variable. So other class, public, yes. Private, no. Protected, yes. Default, yes. Okay, now, now what we'll do is we'll try to understand in the derived class of other package. Let's save it. Now let's go here. Let's go here in the derived class. In other package now, we are in package two, derived class, which is extending the base class. Now what I'll do here, since it's 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 an it's extending the base class, you don't have to create an object. You can try to access directly. So in the derived class, you can access variables directly. Only in other class, you have to create pack object and access. So since it's a derived class, you don't have to create an object directly. Let's try to access. A is equal to five. A is equal to five. B is equal to ten. C equal to fifteen. D equal to 20. So let's see which areas I get error. So in other package, public I'm able to access, derived class. Public I'm able to access, private I'm getting error. Protected also I'm able to access, default also I'm getting error. So, so I cannot access in a default variable outside the package. So in other package, even if I'm extending it, I'm not able to access the default variable. Whereas I'm able to access public and protected. Right, so let's go back and in other package, derived class, public, yes, private, no, protected, yes, default, no. Now, let's try to check the last one, other class. So since it's other class, other class um, method, so I have to create an object. So how do I create object? Base class, base class, obj is equal to new base class. Now I'll try to write, I'll try to assign the values. obj.a is equal to 5, obj.b is equal to 10, obj.c is equal to 20, obj.d is equal to 30. Now let's try to understand. So in other class, I'm not able to access, in other class, I'm not able to access um, private, I'm not able to access uh, protected, I'm not able to access default. So so protected also I'm not able to access in other class in other package. So all these three I'm not able to access only public I'm able to access. So I'll put here another class of the other package. Public I'm able to access. Private no. Protected I'm able to I'm not able to access. Default also I'm not able to access. Now let's try to see how we can remember this. You don't have to buy hard this. You can easily remember this. So public you can access everywhere. Public, everything is yes. Private, only within the class. Nowhere you can access. Private, only within the class. Protected, within the package. Protected, within the package. And derived class of other package. Protected, within the package. And derived class of other package. Default, only within the package. I repeat. Public, everywhere you can access yes. Private only within the pack, only within the class, protected within the package, and derived class of other packages, and default only within the package. So like this, you can remember the access modifiers where and how you can access. So please practice this. Try to be very clear with this. Access modifiers are important. So try to see if you can create this table without watching the video. This is really important. Thank you, and see you in the next module.